Hi everyone, it's Steve from Turtle Dove. Um, today I'd like to show you my Easter setup in my dining room. Um, but first, before I do that, I suddenly realised that I had totally forgotten to do um, February's favourites. So, I do have, uh, with everything that's going on, I'll show you a couple of things. Um, that I chose for my favourites. I actually haven't used them yet. Um, and then I'll get on to March. I may as well do this month's favourite March, um, which you'll probably laugh at. <laughs> you may be able to guess. But I'll show you February's favourites. Now, um, yeah, last month my daughter asked me if I could come with her to Savers, which is a second hand sort of charity shop. It's huge, it's like a big shed. Um, full of clothes and other things and she had a um, she didn't want to spend a lot of money on buying some new clothes it was her mother-in-law's birthday coming up and they were going out for lunch or tea or something so she asked me to come along so I didn't actually intend on buying anything but I bought a couple of bargains I think um, I think they are anyway so the first thing that I got which I'll put down as one of my February favourites is this beautiful platter. That's the back and it's still got the price on $3.99, so $4 basically that was. And it's German. My parents are German. So I, I don't know, I always gravitate towards a lot of German things for some reason. I just loved that and then I looked at the back and I thought, oh, it's from Germany. So I just love that for the kitchen. Some fruit in the centre, pears and some sort of a berry, mulberry or something. With the gold accents. So I think that's really, really good. Pretty. So that's that one. And the other one is this bag. And that was $6.99, so I ran that up to $7. And it's brand new. I'm going to make an ASMR video on this one, I think. Make some lovely relaxing sounds. But there's the tag still, so it hasn't been used. And I don't know, can you recognise any writing there? I don't know where that's from. That's what I've got. So there's a little side zip. And it's quite a deep bag. So I think this would be nice in winter. With nice warm colours. And summer. And then it has the rope handles. Nice and tough. Which is good for me. Because I'm a bit rough with my bags. And... Beautiful bright colours at the front. Some sort of tasseling or whatever you call it down the bottom here. And some nice machine embroidered trim there. And it's just thick cotton weave. The woven top fabric with that centre piece and the dangly beads. And a couple of gold studs, so it's very tough. And the inside is just lined nicely. So I thought that was a real bargain and I didn't really want to spend anything, but I had a bit of change in my purse. So while my daughter was trying on all these clothes, I just had a wander around. And that's what I got. So that is down for my February favourites. Um, to be honest, I haven't really thought a lot about the favourites. Um, just recently, like today, I've just been flat out. The restrictions going on in Australia are getting worse by the day. And as the numbers of the, the, um, the known viruses 
on people have increased. Um, I just I don't want to be out and about as the weeks go by. Unless I really, really have to as far as food's, food's concerned and pharmacy and doctors and such. But I just had my hair cut, um, trimmed. My normal hairdresser had a baby. So I got a fairly young bloke cutting my hair. And he did a, a pretty good job. Um, the rest, one of the restrictions is actually um, you can go to the hairdresser but they can only spend 30 minutes on your hair. So I didn't get a wash and he didn't, it was a dry cut, but I was just happy because I walked in without an appointment and I just said, look, I can come in the next day, but if you have a spare, you know, moment to do my hair, that would be great. And he did, so that was good. So at least I got my hair done because I reckon it could be a good six months before I get my hair done again because I normally don't get it cut a real lot anyway. Um, but yeah, it's just going to get worse, I think, this virus before it gets better. So I've just been flat out all day and, well, all last couple of weeks really, just trying to think of everything that I need and I feel now that we'll be okay, especially if hubby and I get sick. Um, we don't have, we've got everything here. So anyway, that's that. Um... You're going to laugh at <laughs> this month's favourite, but I, I just had to put it in. <laughs> yes, that's my favourite because it's so darn hard to get. <laughs> and would you believe um, this week is the first week that there is actually a lot of toilet paper around. Well, not a lot, but enough, you know. This I bought um, a week or so ago, and that was $2.75 for two rolls. And that was the limit that we had. Each person could take one packet. So if you have a big family, you're in trouble. You'd have to secretly visit the store five times. <laughs> but anyway, I've got a couple of other packets, so I've sort of... Um, I have enough food for two or three weeks and toilet paper so I didn't actually buy any this week. So that has to go in March favourites. <laughs> and same thing, tissues. This week is actually, it's hard to get tissues I didn't see because I went to two stores today I went to Aldi and after I can't get everything at Aldi so I always stop in at Woolies on the way home Woolworths um, to get whatever I can't get at Aldi and none of them had tissues this week but yeah that's from last week because I got a couple more boxes Oh, and um, there's a big lineup outside of Audi today because I didn't realise but they changed the hours open to the public because the first hour is set aside for pensioners. Um, so there's this huge lineup <laughs> and I didn't expect that and I thought, oh, we're going to be here for hours, but I was only lining up for 10 minutes, so that's fine. And we weren't in, well, I wasn't in the store for five minutes. They have a security guard at the front and the security guard was yelling at a customer to get out of the store and the customer was yelling back at the security guard. I don't know what happened and I couldn't understand what was being said other than the security guard telling this guy to get out and the guy wasn't listening so the police had to get involved. So it's just crazy, crazy around here lately so I don't really want to go out and about anymore. So the other favourite is pasta. I got that today. Yay! First time in about three weeks. <laughs> so that I'm very happy with that purchase and I'm also very happy with flour, plain flour. I haven't seen that for about three weeks either because everyone panic bought those products. So 
so and now there's limitations on all so I'm hoping that um, the stock's just going to eventually get back to reasonably sort of what it was before um, but yeah that's my favourites um, I did the other day buy a few craft supplies just so I well I've got enough craft supplies here anyway but just want to get a few extra things um, because we may be spending a lot of time at home every one of us so that one stage or the other okay so that's it that's my favorites and I'm going to turn the camera off I'm going to go and set up my lovely Easter decoration and I'll be right back to show you okay so this is the end of the dining room this is where I had all my Christmas decorations on a little side table um, it's a bit higgledy piggledy because I have all these little hanging decorations everywhere um, like this wooden bunny and all sorts of beautiful hanging decorations when we sold our last house um, we had to put everything in storage while we built this house for a year so I did have a beautiful um, branch tree branch that I put in a pot and I used to and I painted it white and I used to hang all these decorations from that and I was so annoyed that I threw it out because I just didn't have room in storage for it and I thought it's just going to break anyway because it was so big so I have nothing to hang those beautiful decorations up this year but I want to um, maybe during the winter um, go maybe to the forest for a walk or something and find a nice twiggy branch so I can do that again but anyway that's why it looks a bit messy it looks beautiful with the lights on um, but during the day it looks a bit busy with everything but uh, the granddaughters came this oh, this afternoon sorry not this morning and they absolutely loved everything so I'll we'll start with the top of the lamp my lead light lamp I've just these are more of those decorations I've just got just bunnies everywhere actually and eggs <laughs> so these are all metal and I have I think three of these yellow blue and pink around the other side you probably can't tell the color because it's too light but um, like little frames with the rabbits in the middle and I've got a little wooden happy Easter egg at the back with the bunny on there and um, it's a nice straw bunny I keep making shadows when I'm in the way it's little two little bunnies that I bought from Woolworths last year I think first time using that there's another little straw bunny but he's white and sitting on this little cake stand with a ceramic bunny in the middle um, and I've just placed eggs polystyrene eggs all over the place and I've got these lights uh, the string of lights egg lights from Aldi a couple of years ago you can't tell the color on that I don't think it's pink green yellow blue I think those ones you can tell what colors they are but they're very pretty Um, this is a cute little bunny in a cup isn't that sweet it's like a little teacup polka dots and that's so cute look at the eyes and these little green sock bunnies I made on this channel 
um, early on in my channel actually, a bit over a year ago maybe. Or two years ago, I can't remember. And then there's some little wooden bunnies, I think that's from a grocery store as well. Um, there's a little ceramic chicken with some more hanging decorations on the top. And another ceramic little egg cup with a blue bunny. And this one here is from Aldi in beautiful ceramic bunny rabbit holding a basket full of eggs. And at the back is a wooden Happy Easter banner which I was going to embellish this year but I've just been so busy with trying to organise the home and everything with what's been happening so that's sort of taken a bit of a back burner I've got these, all these, this is my candelabra you can spin it around and it's sitting on a, a bowl so I filled that with eggs and here are some more of those hanging decorations I can't even remember where I got these, I must have bought these about three years ago um, glass so I've got a white silver pink and there's a big pink one at the back and some more hanging decorations now this bunny here is decky barge um, with napkins paper napkins and the lighting's terrible um, can go and check this out on my channel too. So I made that, I made this um, when we were staying with my daughter while we were building the house. I made three little eggs, matching eggs. This one, uh, ceramic bunny at the back is from Aldi again too. I bought that at the same time as I bought the, the one with the basket. Um, I can't even remember where I bought this one from. It's a bunny with a pot plant and I've just filled it up with these beautiful, um, they're quite heavy, sort of clay looking eggs but they have sparkly bits on it and they're flowers, little daisy flowers. I don't know if you can see the sparkle on there but it's very very fine. So I've got a few of them and I'll put some on the outside as well. Got to turn this bunny on. This one changes colour, and I got that from the supermarket too. I actually no, I didn't get that from the supermarket. Sorry, I got that from the reject shop. Um, and unfortunately, because that was in within walking distance for me, that has closed down. Um, they just closed shop last week, so I was very disappointed about that because I used to pop in there and a few craft supplies so and here's some funny furry eggs polystyrene um, pretty sure I got that from maybe cheapest chips or a grocery store I just honestly, I can't remember where I've got all these things because, you know, they're sort of spread all over the place. Look at these little eggs, they're wooden. So I'm definitely going to have to get a branch. Anyway, I've got this pot and I'll put some of this shredded holographic paper in there. And there's a little bunny, another fairy bunny hairy bunny, I don't know if you call it fairy, like tiny tiny little pine needles and they fall everywhere when you scratch away at it, same with this, so that's the big bunny right at the end, 
so that's it guys that's my Easter decorations thanks for watching guys stay well and safe and thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye for now